So, we're back making these song breakdowns. Um, it's been a long time, it's been about a month. Finishing this room, also with work. I am in winter vacation now, so I've had a bit of time to get back into making music and focusing on finishing the tracks. So that's been a big part of this month, making sure that I'm trying to finish these tracks. So this will be the breakdown of January 2023. Let's get into it. This one I started on the 20th of October. Um, I began with this somatic sample called 99. <laughs> So I broke that up into different sections. Um, I used certain ones for the introduction, for the verses, and then others for the chorus. I wanted to make this kind of interesting throughout, so that's why I chopped it up. It's still not completely chopped up or made unique, um, but at least I could add some variation in there. So after that, I added some other vocals from Somatics, Angel Vocals Dry. So this was in the same key as the previous somatic sample. I thought that fit quite well together. Now my vocals I broke up into separate patterns, so this is what they sound like. These are a lot of somatic samples as well. Uh, very minimal, I don't have too many. A kick, a snap, a clap, and some other percussion sounds to make it a bit more interesting. Um, I've also laid in some cymbals here. And then for the chorus section, I've added in a double time hi-hat. So at the moment, it began to sound like this. I, th I thought it sounded quite nice. Um, there is a section here on this one that just sound, the higher frequencies in this section are a bit harsh, but I couldn't really figure out a way to take them out. So just left them in. I think I did try to mess around with the EQ, um, but didn't really have any uh, any success, but it sounds okay for what it is. After that, I wanted to add in some of my own instrumentation. So I first added in this kind of spooky piano sound. That is Frozen Keys One Shot by Somatics as well. And on this, I added some EQ um, to try and separate it away from the high end and the low end. And then also some retro color and then some extra reverb. Secondly, I wanted a longer kind of sound, so like a flute or something. Here I was having fun using a lot of samples instead of VSTs. Um, so I got this piccolo again from Simatics. So you can really hear that in the beginning. I think that brings in like a nice pad feel, um, you know, woodwind kind of vibe to it which is nice. And then lastly, I wanted a lower section. So again, using a sample from Somatics, I found this instrument string sample. So that plays like. So all of those added instruments together sounded like this with everything else. And then 
at some point, I think before a lot of the flute, uh, the piccolo samples and the uh, lower synth sample, I added in this uh, melody. This was again a time where I wanted to get better at making melodies or you know expanding on my own ideas rather than just having the same repetitive notes. So this was taken from a looped instrument. On this I added some EQ to take away all of the low end and then retro color. Uh, depth for plucks, add some reverb and distortion and then a little noise uh, underneath. And then also this magnetic feature here. So that sounds like this. Kind of catchy and uh, interesting, unique. I kind of, I liked it a lot within the, uh, within the track. It's a bit slow and then when that comes in it kind of picks up pace a bit is which is what i like so everything together including that last loot sounded like this everything uh, very simple didn't go too much on the drums on this one and uh, made it, it it was a lot easier making this or making it sound the way I wanted it to sound because it, I used samples uh, which already sounded quite good from somatics so hopefully I explained fairly well what I did there um, I do need to get better at explaining the effects um, but for the moment let's listen to the full track mm -hmm. 